Hey everyone, John here with another ArchiCAD tutorial video. In this session, I want to talk about how we can create custom trusses using the Design Design Extras Trust Maker tools. Now, before we get into actually building the truss, building with the Trust Maker itself, I do want to just point out that we have a few different options for uh, library part objects that can also get us pretty close. Um, we have several objects for a steel truss, and you can find this in the object library, and it's located in this case under Division 5 for our metals. So we have metal trusses here, and there's actually a lot of, uh, there's, there's, there's really six different objects here for this, but they all act very similarly. So you can see as we're clicking through here, um, it's really the same type of setup. We have a few different types of major uh, truss types to use, the KLH and DLH. Um, so those are kind of like the, the big settings there that we can uh, set. Uh, most of those these settings here are mainly based on the general size and depth limitations. Um, but we also have a lot of settings here for um, our different gaps, um, how many number of panels we want to use so we can just plug in some different values here and it's going to make a lot of adjustments for us very quickly. And so there's just a lot of settings here. We can also do some work with this in um, in 2D, or sorry, in 3D as well. Um, so if we go here, um, we can see that we just made some quick adjustments there, but we can grab items here and adjust the lengths. We can grab this and adjust spacing here. We can move this little chair object around or the the seat for where this sits on a uh, structural member on the side we can adjust the length of that so there's really a lot that we can do with these objects to try to get it very close um, for our purposes we can adjust the length on that side so uh, yeah there's uh there's just a lot we can do um, similarly we have several different wood tr type truss frames and you can find that obviously under the wood section wood trusses so we can see we have you know several different shapes here um, most of these are really a little bit more fixed we do have some options for specifying the number of panels and the length of these here so we can control some major sections or parts and pieces of these in this type of manner um, which will again help us get pretty close um, but if we want to create a totally custom truss then we can do that um, through the truss maker so I'm just going to pull these off to the side for the moment and let's uh, walk through the steps of building it with the truss maker so we go to design extras truss maker create truss well we do this and it says okay for making a truss or girder you should set, select lines or arcs so um, yeah, really the first step here is we do this in a 2D view and we can essentially just draw the shape that we want. Um, so say we want it to be 25 feet long, we can just draw with a single line 25 feet. Say if we want it to be um, like a, I don't know, like a, just a simple pitch like this, we can draw these lines and we can also just, you know, create some general um you know bracing here and really we can get as creative as we want with this um, obviously we want it to be realistic um, but we can just simply draw these in and um, the important thing here that I want to point out is we really need to assign a few different colors here so uh, best practice is assigning the top of the truss as one uh, pen color the bottom we have as green but let's just change this to blue and then we can have all of our different members here in the middle as a similar color. So there we go. Let's put one here in the middle. And okay, so let's turn off our guidelines. So, okay, there we go. We can see that we kind of have a rough shape of a truss, but that's fine for now. So let's select everything here from our lines and we'll go to our design design extras, trust maker, create trust. And when we do so, it opens up this new dialogue. 
And so really over here on the left, we have three main types of trust members that we can generate. We have the timber construction here. So if we go to attributes, um, well, actually we have yeah, three different types here. All of the attribute settings are the same. Where this really changes a lot is in our trust profile. So here with our timber, we're limited to kind of a square, square members, which makes sense for um, a timber construction. If we go to the hollow section, then we can either do this with um, a square profile or we can do a, a bar joist style. And again, going in here and just adjusting the settings on our um, three different pen colors. So um, for each of these scenarios, we still are listing our red, our green, and our blue pens. And um, yeah, this we have a lot of different options here for defining different types of um, of members. So let's just go ahead and um, we'll leave all these settings as is. Of course, we can go through and adjust these to a specific height, but let's just go ahead and um, we'll set this as say just like a pine. We can make this a brown pen. We'll just leave it on the ARCHICAD layer for now. We'll just leave all of these settings and let's go ahead and generate a trust. So this will just create a new object part and we'll just hit save and let's see that in 3D and okay, there we go. We now have that truss that was built exactly from our lines with all the different sizes that we specified. So um, that's great. Let's pull this off to the side and let's take a look at another option here. So we'll go through and do our next option, which would be our hollow section. So here maybe we want to do Let's set some width, so maybe three inch width by six inch height. We can do this for top and bottom. And in the middle, maybe we just set this as like two inch. Well, let's keep that the same, three inch by four inch. Okay, so we'll go through and let's generate one real quickly from that. All right. So... Oh, one thing I did not change. I'm going to delete that one and let's change our settings here. So um, with the hollow profile or hollow section, it would make sense to probably change this to some sort of metal structural and let's change it to a metal type pen and let's rename that, override that trust to, so replace it. And okay, so we'll highlight both of these. And okay, there we have one that's a hollow section. We can actually see that hollowness from the edge there. Um, we have a wood section. And then now let's uh, go through and do the third option, which has really a lot of different settings um, built in it. So let's go through some of those right now. Trustmaker, create trust, rolled steel profile. So again, we can leave this as steel is fine as our attributes. Um, but here we have some options. So um, let's first work with our top truss. So um, we can either do this as a profile or we can do it as like maybe a um, two angles back to back. We can change our orientation there and it will give us a little preview over on this side. Let's set these to six inches by six inches and I believe that's the overall there. Uh, thickness, we can set this to maybe, I don't know, 3 8 inch. Um, our middle section here, we can do this as a number of different profiles. Let's just try out this, uh, this bar joist with the clamp there. Uh, maybe we'll reduce the resolution. Let's change our diameter to just like an inch. Um, end length, so we'll leave that as 3 inches or almost 4 inches. And our bottom, let's kind of do the mirror of what we had on the top. So six inches, six inches. Okay, so with our truss profiles, we have a new option here under our steel junctions. And so the third tab, we can actually go through and create junction plates. Um, so let's just create them everywhere. And uh, yeah, let's see how this looks. We can use our... Yeah, center of gravity should be fine, or we could do midpoint. 
Um, we could play around with those to see what the difference is. But let's go ahead and generate a new truss. And okay, so I'm going to pull this one over. And let's just grab all three of them and we'll do kind of a side by side. Okay, so this third one here, you can see that now we're actually generating gusset plates and connectors and um, yeah, so we're getting a little bit more detailed. You can see our bottom profile here and our top profile or how we set those. So if we know the exact layout on the uh, dimensions such as the length, the height, the spacing on the actual um, intermediate web components, then this can be a really kind of easy, uh, quick way of generating exact trusses. Say if we were receiving a shop drawing from a fabricator and we wanted to bring these into our model to make sure that we have um, all the clearances and spacing that we need and uh, so that we can coordinate exact routing. Say if we had MEP elements routing through here, this would be one way that we could get exactly the spacing that we want um, compared to using just the, uh, the basic um, object tools that we get. So um, yeah, anyway, that's about it for what I wanted to cover in this video. So a lot of different options for creating trusses and you can see how easy it is if we just lay out a few lines um, obviously we can get much more detailed and uh, much more specific on our spacing but as quickly as we did that we can generate some trusses and um, yeah then simply just take them if we have a set spacing we can just lay things out and quickly build up a roof so makes it really easy Okay, if you have any questions on this, then uh, please leave it in the comment section. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you like this type of content. And we will catch you on another Archicad tutorial video very soon. Thanks for watching.